Okay, I'm creating this video so you can uh, understand how we plan our trips. We use an app called RV Life Trip Wizard to plan our trips. Um, so this is the, the website and uh, I'm already kind of logged in so I'm going to go to my planner um, and get logged in. Of course it's going to take a while. There we go. So I do this in like leg stints, anywhere from two to six weeks, depending on what we're trying to go do. So we're going to open up the Mount Rushmore leg, which is where we're headed now. And so you can see here, it has uh, all my uh, legs of leaving from Texas coming up to uh, South Dakota. And let's say you're planning your trip. Uh, you can turn on the maps and it'll show you all the different campgrounds um, around you if you need to book a campground kind of at the last minute. Um, it's quite cool. Uh, you can actually kind of click on one of these guys. Oops. Let me zoom out here. Um, and um, let me just go to my leg here. So this is a campground and you can kind of click on it and it'll tell you the park details. It'll give you the review ratings and you can add it to your trip as you go along and then you can click right into their website to book a reservation. Um, the only thing I wish it did have was uh, linking in better with Harvest Host. And Harvest Host, this is a separate uh, app as you can see, scroll in here. These are free sites. You can bone dock for up to one, sometimes two nights. They're generally at breweries or wineries or museums, and you can park there for free. Um, a lot of times it's really cool because you can get out of the RV and go in and have a beer, a glass of wine, and a nice dinner while you're parked in their parking lot and get to sleep there for the night. Um, but these are not hooked into RV Trip Blizzard, so I have to, if I want to put in a Harvest Host night, I have to kind of scroll back over to this map <clears throat> and then I can add the harvest host to my overall trip wizard. <clears throat> and these, um, these trips can be imported to your Garmin that you use to drive. So you just kind of uh, uh, upload these trips to your Garmin and it'll take you through the whole path on the Garmin. So that's kind of how we do it. It's a learning curve to, to get it all set up, but once you have your legs uh, set up. You can really plan these uh, these legs in advance. You can open up. We have all of ours booked uh, almost through February 11th so far. Um, so we've got different trips and legs that we book. Um, it makes it a little bit easier to make reservations in chunks in case your uh, plans change uh, on your travels. But that's kind of what we use so far. It's been working good. Um, you know. Uh, we, we don't book a lot of sites well in advance unless they're in really popular areas like Mount Rushmore will be, uh, Grand Canyon, um, big state parks, things like that you need to book in advance, especially if it's around a kind of a scenic area that uh, you're trying to get to. So what I do is I book those, those popular sites pretty far in advance and then I work my legs uh, and my sites around that core location. Um, that way we're assured we're going to get good sites for, at the target location and then we can just kind of uh, use different options for campgrounds uh, on the way there. So that's kind of how I do it. Hope that helped.